Hello once again YouTube, Duke Nukem2417 here with something probably well expected of any Let's Play channel on YouTube. It's Doom! But it's not Doom on the PC. It's not the Doom you all know and love. This is Doom on... What the... Freaking... This is Doom on the... <laughs> on the Super Nintendo. And the what? Okay, I'm either not on my home keys or I'm over. Okay, okay, I was using the number pad, but apparently the number pad doesn't work for the movement controls on here. So I, that was an error on my part. Okay, this is Doom on the Super Nintendo via emulation. The last time I tried to record a video of an emulated version of Doom from a non-native PC port was via. Game Boy Advance Simulator. So, okay, okay. Y is fire, and I have that map to X on my keyboard. A is open. Uh, X is switch weapon. I'm being shot in the back by some dingus behind me. I wish they wouldn't be shot in the back by somebody in front of me. Uh, anyway, yeah, I apologize in advance for the. Craptacular music you're probably hearing because the I don't remember if the SNES version of Doom had bad music or not actually I do not remember that but I do know that there are some ports of this uh, specifically the 32x port of Doom where the music just sounds like someone flatulating into an FM an FM synthesizer which is uh, horrible I mean the SNES could do a lot of things well. Uh, I mean, stuff. That's supposed to be nukage, by the way. That green featureless floor is supposed to be the nukage that damages you. And yet, it's not doing anything. Okay. There should be a secret passage over here. Oh, I was hitting the wrong thing. Okay. So I have to go back there and then. Is this one also secret? No. Up a med kit, though. It's always good. And I mean, if you've played Doom before, you know what Doom. This is supposed to be textured, as I've previously mentioned. That's supposed to be the nukage. And there is no texture to the nukage. It's just solid green, which makes it look like a green floor or the surface of a pool table. Even better. Uh, <laughs> and the sad thing about the SNES port of Doom is that it's supposed to be using the same. Super FX chip that powered the likes of uh, Star Fox. Obviously, things went horrifically wrong in the. Uh, that thing's supposed to go down somehow, and it's not, but whatever. It's happened in the Game Boy Advance version, too. I mean, if you've played Doom, if you've never played Doom before, this is an adequate. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be fences here. There's supposed to be fences that you can't move through, but because of the limitations of the console, they were removed. So yeah, this is now just an open area with columns. And yeah, it's is not looking too good right now. You know. Oh, well, now it opens. I keep forgetting. Okay. Got a med kit, got the shoddy. Got that shoddy there. Not the super shoddy, because that's only in Doom 2. But, uh, and also this version has fewer levels, I think. If I remember correctly, this version has fewer levels. So. Anyone in here? No? Okay then. I know I didn't meet the par time, but I don't care. There we go. There we go. That is the end of. And they do have the map if you press select, or in my case, the space bar, which is great. But, uh, I'm once again hitting the wrong key on the keyboard to fire. This is not the only first person shooter on the SNES, obviously. There was a port of Wolfenstein 3D, which infamously changed a lot of details. All Nazi iconography was removed, uh, swastikas were 
replaced with just plus signs. Every portrait of Hitler had his mustache shaved off, and the end boss was the Statmeister. The would be leader of the master state. So all references to the Nazi party in Wolfenstein 3D for the SNES were removed. Although the rumor that the game Super Noah's Ark 3D was done in protest of that is actually, ab bleh, actually and absolutely false. And if you hear any sounds coming from behind me from someone else watching something on another TV in another room, ignore them. I have nothing to do with that. That's someone being an inconsiderate tool. Anyway, uh, yeah, Doom on the SNES. It's not terrible, but it's also not exactly the most appealing thing. Another shoddy. Got more ammo for the shoddy. You never have too much shoddy ammo in this game. But yeah, uh, it's Doom. If you've played Doom before, you know how Doom works. I mean, the controls don't suck. Uh, left and right strafes. The X button on the controller shifts between weapons. Uh, the B button allows you to run, amazingly enough. If you really want to go out of control and hit walls and then get shot at repeatedly. I do not have the key for that. Uh, as I previously mentioned, the Y button fires. I don't know if you can redefine the controls. Which is kind of a pain, but, you know, they work. Even if you're playing via emulation and you have the map to a keyboard like I have, uh, it's not too big of a pain. Oh, wait, I'm being shot. Hang on. Boom. And a boom. Taste of the shoddy there. Grab the red key card. Armor. I forget how you open that. How you get to that. There's one of the walls in here opens. I remember that much. I don't remember which one, and I don't remember if you just walk up to the wall and press it. I haven't played this in a while, can you tell? But anyway, we have the red key card now, so it's time to just run like crazy over here. And do a thing. I mean, yes, they have their limitations. The walls and ceiling aren't detailed. I mean, not the walls and ceiling. The floor and ceiling aren't detailed. All the walls are still detailed. Amazingly enough, but again, the nukage is just plain green floor when in the original game it had plenty of details. So you could tell you were you could tell you were stepping in nuclear waste and not just surface of a pool table. Uh or what looks like the surface of a pool table. I mean the draw distance doesn't completely suck. You know, the the frame rate isn't terrible. Okay, wait, where am I now? Okay, then I go back into here. Okay. I'm gonna go see if that thing out of the room opened up yet. I don't rem Again, I haven't played this in a while. I don't think it opened up. And sadly, because the... In, not the N64, the SNES did not exactly have a keyboard. You can't just enter in... I D S P I S P O P D and do no clipping mode. <laughs> Thankfully, they changed it in Doom 2 to ID clip, something far simpler to remember. <laughs> I mean, if you if you want to engage no clipping mode in Doom 1, you had to literally have your fingers fly over the keyboard for I D S P I S P O P D, and usually you got it wrong, and you ended up getting mutilated and keylaid by loads of undead zombie men and friggin imps and other various forms of hell spawned fiends which is never fun like you just wanted you just wanted to engage no clip mode and you had to go crazy on the keyboard to try and type it in and then you're getting blown away more ammo for the shoddy full health oh room full of crazies I don't remember if they took out the friendly fire between different enemy types, but I've killed them all already, so it doesn't really matter. And go flip that switch up there. And that opens a door in the wall, which wasn't there when I came in. Uh, oh, it opens a few doors. Okay. 
Can I go through here? Yes, I can. Grab that health. Oh, but it's a circle. It just leads right back to the room I started in. Ugh, go through the thing. Okay. Hit detection in this is kind of not entirely wonky, but just a little bit wonky. And there's the exit. No, I don't want to shoot the door. I want to shoot the things in this room. Ah! Good thing. Okay. There we go. There we go. One idiot survived. I don't remember if they're allowed to turn in the SNES version. But, you know, you never know. <laughs> okay. Now we drop down here. Press. I know I missed some secrets. I didn't care. See, I'm trying for time. <sighs> Shotgun shells. Pistol ammo that I don't need because I haven't used the pistol ever since I got the shoddy. That's the starting door that I can't open. And off we go into another round of demon killing craziness. Already I'm being shot at from all sides. Or at least... Okay, there's someone over there who's being an idiot and shooting at me, but... Oh, two son two idiots. Okay. Three idiots. More than three idiots. Most of whom are now no longer a problem. Excellent. Yeah, this is just something I'm doing because I'm bored out of my skull and I figured... You know, everyone's done a Doom Let's Play in their life. I might as well do one that's a little bit different. Hence, SNES Doom via emulation. So yeah, this isn't the most spectacular thing I could be doing with my time. But hey, it's better than nothing. So, And if this is popular enough, I might actually try to do an entire playthrough of SNES Doom via emulation. Go around and go through the door. Thank you. Oh, there's a Mega Spear over there tempting me. I do not remember how to go get it. And this is the SNES version, so it'll probably be even more impossible or difficult to get. Oh, there's a switch right there. Don't know if I can... Can I shoot it? No. That punk can shoot me through the window. That imp is trying to shoot me through the window, but he's... His aim sucks. Anyway, I think... I think... Oh, I can actually get into this room. Hey. Can't you... Oh, right. There's someone behind me. Someone behind the Doom guy. Or the Doom Slayer, if you're familiar with the newer version of the game. Oh, now who's shooting me now? Oh, this idiot. On the lift. The elevator. The British call it the lift. Americans call it the elevator. Both terms are equally valid. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. If I get enough fan response, not fan, if I get enough response from this, from my subscribers, my viewers, whatever, all of you wonderful people out there, I will continue to do this. And oh, see. Here. And I'm going to move away from that window before the Doom Slayer gets slain. But anyway, if I get enough of a response from this, I will probably continue playing SNES Doom. I think the Doom Slayer is about to be dead. Nope, health power up. Okay. So that's it for this video. Thank you all so very much for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more.